Hey everybody, I'm Sharpen Blade, and in today's video, we are looking at the Honey Badger. This one is the medium size with the drop point blade in 8CR13 MOV, but there's all kinds of different options that you can pick from. I'm getting my information from White Mountain Knives. Uh, you can also uh, order directly from Honey Badger's website, but uh, I just I bought mine from White Mountain Knives, so what they have listed, there's a range of prices because there's a lot of different options. So it ranges from $35 up to around $60. So this is definitely a budget knife. So you've got three different sizes. You got a small, medium, and a large. This is the medium in the blue FRN, but you can also get it in green or black or tan. Uh, they have options on their website believe for G10 it comes in uh, it might be orange FRN and a white and a black G10 I'm not 100% sure but there is options on their website I'll leave a link to their website in the in the description below so make sure you check it out because you can get black hardware for your knife so that's kind of cool you can kind of customize it a bit especially for being a budget knife it's it's nice to have that option so again uh, small medium large uh, HCR 13 or D2 blade steels and then you have three different blade shapes so this is the drop point there's also a worn cleaver and there's uh, what they call the claw so it basically looks like the blade off a of karambit they all have the same basic shape for the handle but you can also get some without the forward finger draw now it's got a nice very deep carry clip which I really like uh, I don't necessarily like that you know to keep myself consistent I don't like I say this every time I see it I don't really like being able to see the pocket clip past the handle of the knife but it's not too bad it's pretty well hidden away what they do though is a pretty nice system that they have rigged up here so it goes into the end of the knife right here. You can see that there is a second little tab right here, so kind of like a filler tab. They avoided having to mill the outside of the scale to allow right or left hand carry by providing the ability to just take that little filler tab out and switching the Clip the pocket clip over to this side and then you just put the filler tab back over here put the screws all in and you're all set to go so that's nice it gives a nice looking scale yeah you have a couple of screws here but it still has the overall nice flow of the honeycomb shape in the scales now I mentioned this I believe in the unboxing that I did they're not sh like I was afraid these might be Hot spots. They're not really. They're you can feel them when you hold the knife, but they're rounded. They're not super round, but they're not square. So there's no sharp edges in there. It does catch debris slightly. Sometimes you can see well you can see a little bit of dust in there. That's kind of annoying. But it's not a big deal. You just wipe that out. So at least it's not a hot spot. That's the main thing I was worried about. However, I find it odd that they put their logo, that their logo being there is not weird, but they only put it on this side, not this side. So these do happen to catch thicker material. If your pants are thick, you got some thick pants, this is going to catch going in out of your pocket slightly. It's just, it's not enough to really make you annoyed at the knife, but it's enough to make you say why didn't they put this over here on this side as well kind of like what Spyderco does see they have the little logo on both sides that way the pocket clip rests on the logo and it gives it a nice smooth area to go in and out of your your pants so I'm not sure why they didn't do that one thing that I really enjoy about this knife is the action it's a very snappy action it's got a slightly strong detent uh, the detent say a perfect detents right in the middle uh you've got your your weak detents and you got your strong detents 
This is slightly stronger than I would like, but that does ensure that you have a snappy detent. So I appreciate that. I'd rather have it a little too strong than a little too weak. However, it still allows for a very nice middle finger reverse flick. And you can use your thumb in the thumb hole as well to, the, to deploy the knife. So yeah, even though it's slightly stronger than, than I would like, it still works very well and it's still very snappy. It's very hard to fail this knife. You can fail it, but uh, well, <laughs> let's try it again. I'm, I have failed it a couple of times, but I don't know, I'm trying. <laughs> it, it is very hard to fail this knife because of the detent, so no complaints there. It's just a nice overall, very smooth, it's on bearings, very nice, snappy, smooth action. So cannot complain about the, the action at all. It's a fantastic action for such a an inexpensive knife. Now it's got jimping here, which is not aggressive by any means, but it's effective. Same with up here. It's effective up here on the blade. It has some jimping in here and it has jimping on this side and in the finger toil. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I mean, I've seen it before. I, I, when I looked at the knife, I was, <laughs> but I've never seen it. I don't think I've ever seen this in any other knives. It's, uh, I don't like the look of it at all. <laughs> I would prefer no jimping in the finger toil, but it does work really well. Like it's locked in my hand. It's not going anywhere. So I do appreciate that they did that. I just, I don't like the look of it, but it does serve a very good purpose. Um, would I want other knives to do that? Not really, because I don't like that look of it. <laughs> Lockup is nice. Oh, kind of messy there. Um, Lockup is nice. It's about a 40% lockup, almost 50%. That's good enough, I'd say. That's fine. Um, like I say, it's smooth. Not drop shitty, but uh, for less than $40, I can live with that action. <laughs> and the ergos are good. Now, you can feel this a little bit. Not a hot spot, but you can feel that. So, if they could knock that down a little bit, just flatten that out a little. Still have the same ramp, because you want a nice ramp, but just flatten it out so it's not sticking up at an angle so much. Uh, the Like I say, honeycombs, you don't really feel it. If you're like, Ah, like I'm trying to cut down the tree uh, you know uh, you probably would they might start to irritate you a bit it's not like there are like a million little hot spots which is what I was afraid of they're the very best they feel fine so I can't complain about the ergos with that at all uh, one thing I don't really like is the amount of branding that's on here um, you got your logo a very detailed logo right there the name of the knife right there so you don't need anything right you don't need that and you don't need this on the pocket clip i also don't like how it's at an, a weird angle uh, it would look worse if it was straight across and if it went this way it would probably just look like a leaf or something <laughs> so i can see why they did it at an angle but get rid of that and just have your logo on here make it a little bit bigger if you want and put on both sides and then get rid of all your other branding on the knife and then it's fine does that I don't know does that really I guess it kind of looks like a badger so I was gonna say <laughs> does that even look like a badger but it, I guess it kind of does but when you've got your name right there honey badger you don't need anything else on your blade uh, HCR 13 MOV oh I always love when companies are so proud of that steel they gotta stick it right on there big huge letters <laughs> uh, I don't mind you putting the blade the marking of the blade steel on the knife itself but just put it down here somewhere where you don't see it when the when the knife is closed I don't like seeing that when the knife is closed so basically my biggest problems with the knife are just purely aesthetic things um, you know the extra branding that's not necessary the jimping I don't really like that but I don't like the way it looks I do appreciate using it in use it does serve a purpose, so I can't really complain that too much about it. I just don't really like how it looks. Oh yeah, T 
on the pivot screw, T6 on all the body screws. Now that's not for a Torx bit, that's just a hole that they put in there. So don't worry, you don't need to do the little double, you know, <laughs> double Torx driver trick on this to take it apart. It's just on the one side. They just did that for, I have no idea. Overall, it's just a nice budget knife. It's got a great action. It's got good ergos. Carries very well. Very nice and slicey. It's great to, you know, you can cut open as many boxes as you desire until the HCR dulls and you need to sharpen it again. But uh, in case you didn't see my unboxing, it comes in a very nice box with a magnetic closure on it. And it comes with the uh, tool you need to take it apart. So, um, obviously their warranty doesn't, they don't care if you take the knives apart. I mean, they sell uh, parts for it, right? So they obviously don't care. So uh, I can't really comment too much on their warranty, but just from that, I can tell they don't care if you take it apart. So you're probably wondering where is the size comparisons and where are the specs? I'm gonna put from now on in my videos, unless people really don't like it this way, I'm gonna put them at the end. For me personally, uh, I find it very boring. So I'm gonna put it at the end. If you don't want to watch this part of the video, you can just skip it. So I think it's kind of a good idea. I'll just go through everything about the knife that I like and I don't like, and then I'll have all the specs and size comparisons at the end. Cause some people don't like that and they can just stop the video. So I'll just start with the usual size comparisons. The Rat 1 and the Rat 2. See it's kind of, it's very close in size to the Rat 2. And we'll do the Feldspar, the full size Feldspar and the Pilar. I kind of wanted to compare it to this just so you can see the uh, overall grip area of it. You can see that you got lots of room on this, even though it's just the medium size. It's probably a very good, probably the all you need for EDC as far as size goes. Because uh, you can basically use this for EDC and it's a much smaller knife. It just gives you a bigger grip area because of the finger choil. And then we'll do... One more, I'm gonna do more size comparisons just to give you a better idea too, this way. Like I say, if you don't like size comparison, you just skip this. So that's the Penguin. And then this is the Hawk from QSP. So it's slightly bigger. Than the Hawk. Just marginally though, just a little tiny bit. Um, about the same size as the penguin. You just have more grip on it because of that finger choil. And like I say, if you don't like the finger choil, you can get them without the finger choil as well. It gives you more cutting edge here. And I'll move this down and then the specs will be right here. So anyways, hopefully that uh, you don't mind how I do my, how this, new little format change here We're putting things at the end if you don't like it uh you can hit the dislike button if you want <laughs> however youtube doesn't show me dislikes anymore so just leave a comment um if you don't like anything about my videos if you want me to try something different change things up a bit just leave me a comment i don't mind uh i may not listen to you <laughs> but you know i'll at least take it into consideration so uh anyways enough of me blabbered on about this this uh this knife it's a great knife definitely check one out if you get the chance and uh, I'll leave a link to white mountain knives in the description as well so uh, thanks for watching the video take care